Today I'm going to do some testing on pH and TDS levels on bottled water from well-known brands. But before I start, let me get some tap water so we have something to compare it to. And I also will check distilled water to compare it to tap water. I've had this gallon jug of distilled water from Walmart sitting in my closet for a couple of years, so it's not very fresh. And typically when you test distilled water, TDS meter will show you zero, because distilled water has nothing in it and there is nothing to show. But since this water has been sitting in a plastic container for so long, plastic can leach out chemicals into the water, and that's why TDS meter shows one point. And now let's compare it to tap water in Florida. And it shows about 200. Well, 199. So now you see the difference between distilled water and tap water, about 200 points. Let's do pH test on distilled water, which typically is acidic, because there is nothing in it to provide alkalinity. And in tap water, which is typically slightly alkaline, but not for the right reasons. Local municipalities add lye to the water to make it more alkaline, because alkaline water is less corrosive to their pipes underground and not necessarily healthier for you. So while I open every bottle, let's talk about TDS and what that means. Well, it's not a disease, it stands for Total Dissolved Solids, which basically means how much stuff is dissolved in your water, which could be sugar, salt, good minerals, bad chemicals, it does not specify. And if you look at this chart, you will notice that TDS of distilled water should be at zero. Anywhere from zero to 50 would be a good filtration system, like reverse osmosis. From 50 to 100 plus would be other types of filtration systems and mountain springs water. Your typical tap water in the United States would be anywhere from 100 plus to 400 plus. And if your tap water is about 400, I would definitely be concerned and want to know what's in that water. And now let's talk about pH. Your blood is just about neutral to slightly alkaline at 7.4. Anything below that would be considered acidic. Anything above that would be alkaline. The most acidic things are battery acid, stomach acid, Lemons are very acidic also, but they provide good alkalinity to your body. And that's a topic for a different video. Any sweet sodas you drink will be acidic. Orange juice, coffee, bread is acidic. Milk is just about neutral. On the alkaline side it would be seawater, baking soda. Now ammonia and bleach are very alkaline, but I definitely would not be drinking that. Now let's start testing from Nestle water. But before we do, I found this interesting map of all the water bottle companies that belong to Nestle. So if you live on the west coast, you drink Arrowhead, if you live on the east coast, you drink Poland Springs, Deer Park, Zephyr Hills, and so on. And if you've never seen some of these brands before, that's probably because your state does not sell them. But they all belong to one company. So Nestle Pure Life. According to the bottle, the water came from underground, here in Florida, and it shows TDS of 57, which is not bad for underground filtered water. But if you live in a different state, your water will probably come from a local source. Now let's do a pH test with a few drops of this reagent and the color of the water turns somewhat green, so it's just about neutral. The next one is Zephyr Hills, it's another Florida based water and TDS of that water is 140, which is about three times as much as Nestle water. Now let's see pH of this water and it turns green bluish, so it's somewhat alkaline. The next bottle comes all the way from beautiful island of Fiji, with TDS of 155. So this water have traveled probably for a few weeks through the tropical heat, sitting in a plastic bottle, leaching chemicals into the water before it got to the store shelves. And pH of this water is slightly alkaline. Ethos is the water that can be found in Starbucks, with TDS at 78, and this water comes from natural springs in Tennessee. and pH of this water is slightly alkaline. Next one is Essentia and according to the bottle, this water has been purified and added minerals for higher pH. With 52 TDS, it promises 9.5 pH on the bottle. And this water turns purple, so as promised, it's 9.5 pH, the strongest of all so far. The next one is Smart Water, which has been vapor distilled and then added some electrolytes and minerals for taste. At 23 TDS, this is the lowest reading so far, and let's see what the pH level is. And the water stays yellowish, so it's on the acidic side. They need to add a little bit more minerals to the water to make it not only clean, but also alkaline. 
Next one is Life Water by Pepsi Cola. This water has been purified through reverse osmosis and then added some minerals back to it. And 16 TDS is even lower than smart water. And let's see pH level of this water. And it looks just as acidic as smart water. Eternal water comes from Smoky Mountains in Tennessee and the bottle claims natural alkalinity at about 8 pH with TDS at 69 pH of this water somewhat bluish, so possibly 8, maybe 7.5 Vas is an artesian water that comes all the way from Norway and it's in a glass bottle, which is a big plus TDS of 21 indicates that this water is somewhat clean but pH of this water is on the acidic side, so that's a big minus, especially for the price of this bottle. By the way, most of these bottles are very expensive to drink on a daily basis, but I'm sure you already know that. Icelanding natural spring water comes from Iceland, and the bottle claims natural alkaline water at 8.4 pH and TDS at 62, but I got TDS at 47, which is just fine, and alkalinity, somewhat bluish, so I'll give it an 8. Core water went through a 7 stage purification process and claims neutral pH at 7.4 with TDS at 80 ppm, let's see pH of this water and it stays somewhat green, just about neutral 10 is a spring water that claims the highest pH of them all at 10 hence the name 10 with TDS at 87 the pH level of this water is definitely purple Probably 9.5, possibly 10. A bit darker than Essentia. Aquafina is another Pepsi Cola product, and this water has been purified through reverse osmosis, and it shows very well at TDS level at only 2 ppm, and that means there is no minerals in the water to give it alkalinity. As you can see, the water stays orange yellowish at acidic pH level at about 5. Dasani is a product of Coca Cola. And this water also went through reverse osmosis, but then they added some minerals back to the water for better taste. And with TDS at 21, let's see the pH level of this water. And this water looks even more orange than Aquafina, so definitely acidic at about 4 pH. Avian is a natural spring water from French Alps, which claims neutral pH and a lot of minerals in the water. And you can definitely see that with very high TDS reading at 294, which is even higher than my tap water at 200. And pH level is just about neutral, as promised. Deja Blue is a product of Dr. Pepper 7-Up Inc. This water has been purified through reverse osmosis, as TDS level at only 3 points indicates, which also means this water will be acidic at about 6 pH. This water is bottled by Target, and they use municipal tap water that has been filtered through reverse osmosis and then added small amounts of minerals back to the water for taste. At 23 TDS this water looks pretty clean, but a little bit acidic at just about 6.5. So the question is, with so many choices, which bottled water you should be drinking? I personally like to drink bottled water just for one reason, convenience. But mostly I try to stay away from drinking this water for few important reasons. Most of this water has been sitting in a plastic container for who knows how long possibly a couple of years, and plastic has tendency to leach chemicals into the water, especially when it's hot. Just because you buy a bottle of water from the fridge in a store doesn't mean it hasn't been sitting on the sun for a while before it got to the store. So the only bottled water I'm biased to would be vast water in a glass container, but the pH level of that water was acidic, so I will not be drinking that. The other reason is that this multi-billion dollar industry is not really being regulated which means if the water has been bottled and sold in the same state, the quality of the water will not be supervised by anybody. So who knows what's really in that water? So the next best thing is to have your personal filtration system at home and use reusable glass bottle to take it with you wherever you go. And that's exactly what I do. I have a small portable reverse osmosis system at home with remineralization filter which adds minerals back to the water and makes it alkaline. And since process of making purified water from your tap water takes time, I fill up pitcher of water when I have time for future use. And TDS of purified water from my tap after remineralization is about 38. 
MPH level, as you can see, is very, very alkaline at about 9.5, just like expensive bottled water, but I can make it anytime I want at home. And this is the small countertop reverse osmosis unit I was talking about. Since I cannot install full-size RO system, I had to settle for this one. Then I found this container to put it in and cover it up, otherwise this is how it looks like on your countertop without the box. So which water you choose to drink is of course only up to you. And I hope you found this video interesting, so please share it with your friends, subscribe and also hit the like button. Thanks!